All right, hey YouTube. I am back with another vlog. Um, this one today is going to be um, on how I color my hair. First of all, you can see that the front of my hair is like a light blonde, or it's a blonde color. Um, and my hair is natural, so the only chemicals in my hair is my hair coloring. And then the black back of my hair is basically the natural color, as you can see. This is my natural color here. So, what I've done is to take my hair and separate the front from the back and all I'm going to do is process dye, well, dye the front part of my hair. It's just my personal style. Uh, the color that I am using, I'm going to open it. This is another Avon product. <coughs> um, yes, Avon Sales Care Dye. Okay. This is the color that I will be using. It is a 9.0 light blonde. Um, and with this, let's see, I'm going to show you what comes inside the box. It's the 2A, which is the liquid part. The 2B, which is the cream. And you mix these two together. You also get... Uh, this is a pre a protected pre-treatment. You get this one, which is number one. So this is going to be your first step um, that you're going to add to your hair, and it's a protectant. And then you're going to post-treat. So you see, and then of course you have your instructions, your gloves. going to apply this to the hair. That's done. So now I'm going to take this and mix these two together. Now, once my hair gets a little bit longer than this, I'll need two bottles. But since I'm only going to be um, doing my roots, um, this one should be okay, okay, and it should be enough. Okay, now it's completely mixed, and I think hopefully you can see that it's completely mixed. So I'm gonna unscrew my top here and start applying. So generally what I like to do is um, hit the grays first so that I have more time to work. And my grays are like I have a few here, a few like right there, not really there, but the majority of my grays are, you'll see, there. My grays. So I usually try to hit that part first <clears throat> so that it has time to work a little bit longer. I'm gonna start applying it. I like 
to hit both. Top and bottom. As you can see, I've applied it to all my roots. All the roots. It's been applied to. So I'm going to let, um, let this sit for a little bit so it'll start changing. And then um, I'll apply it a little bit more further down onto the hair. So. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, as you can see, my hair is starting, starting to change. So now that it's almost the same color as the rest of it, the roots are almost this color. I'm gonna finish applying. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and. Take it to the and as you can see it's almost all the same color. Um, my roots were like this much new growth. So it's almost the same color now. Then the cover. Yet. Okay, I'm back and it has been about 25-30 minutes that I've been letting this sit. So we're going to take it off so we can see what it looks like. And it looks like it is just about the right color. Alright, so I've rinsed out my dye. As you can see, it's rinsed out. I want to check it and make sure that you have all of the dye out of your hair, your roots, and scalp. Okay. I pretty good. Pretty much got great coverage with the color all the way around. So that's great. Okay. So coconut oil and I'm going to put it in between my hands to soften it and as you can see it kind of and get the to the scalp really well to the end so now the other side combed out <clears throat> that I'm going to apply is Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning. back there in the dry section I want to get that really really good and then my edges I like to really really put it on thick especially after coloring my hair and then what I'll do is just um, 
pull it back in a bun and wear it like this all week. No combing, no nothing. Just wear it like this and tie it down at night with my silk scarf. So I'm going to comb that through so I can make sure it gets through the entire part of my hair. Okay. And then I'll do the other side. see the color difference between the front and the back. So. Then take my so that concludes my hair coloring. Um, and I usually do it every three or four months. That's why I had so much new growth. So if you have any questions, if you have any comments, um, leave them below. Make sure you rate, subscribe, and uh, like I said, always comment. If you have any questions, leave them as well. And until then, I'll see you guys later. And